The first thing you're gonna do is go in with a few coats of this white acrylic paint onto your planter. I chose to do two of them white and one of them black. Um, you are gonna want very contrasting colors, such as white and black, to have the under color really show through once you pull off the rubber bands. Once you have enough coats on, you're gonna take your rubber bands and just place them however you prefer onto your pot. You can do skinny rubber bands, you can do thicker rubber bands, it really depends on the style that you want. One thing you do want to make sure is to make that the rubber bands are laid flat completely onto the pot as they might move around if they're not. The next step is to go over the rubber bands with the opposite color of paint that you have chosen. One tip is to paint side to side going in the direction of the rubber band rather than against it. Um, which would be going up and down because if you do go up and down then you will risk moving the rubber bands and then the design underneath really won't show through. The rubber bands are really there to keep the base color showing through that top color that you decide. Once you have left plenty of dry time, the next thing you're going to do is just remove the rubber bands and reveal the color that you have below it. I love this design because it was so easy and it's just very different. You don't ever see this type of planters just going out and buying them. So it's a perfect DIY for summertime. For the second style, you're going to go and tape off the bottom part of one of the terracotta pots. It's okay if it is not completely a straight line all the way around. I think it looks more interesting if it does have a little bit of a wave to it as you turn it. The next one, you're going to take a piece of tape and start at the very bottom of the lip of the terracotta pot. And when you do go from the bottom up onto the lip, you want to make sure the corner right there is very secure and it does go with it and there's no gap um, one thing is for that is you don't want it to seep under and you want it to be a nice clean line next thing you're going to do is go in with a couple coats of paint where we did not tape it off i really really was impressed with this pearl finish paint as it gives a very sleek classy look to it Unless you do it yourself, you can't just go out and buy pearl finished items without spending a ton of money. So this is a great way to get very expensive looking decor for a very inexpensive price. For the third one, you're just going to go around um, very neatly on the edge of the lip and just paint whatever is below that. Then you're going to go in and just remove the tape very carefully. You want to make sure you allow enough dry time as the paint will peel off with the tape if it is not completely dry. And once the tape is removed, you have three new classy planters that you wouldn't have been able to purchase anywhere else. For this last one, we're going to start out by doing a couple coats of this dark royal blue and you're going to completely paint the entire planter. And then for the third one, we're going to do the previous technique where we only paint the bottom. One tip is to use a sponge brush. That is one way you can get a really nice precise edge without having to tape off the top of it. 
Then after that is dry, we're gonna go in with this silver metallic paint. This paint is quite thin, so it did require a few coats. And then finally, we're gonna take this jute and just hot glue it around the edge of the lip underneath. And you're gonna wanna start in the very middle of the piece of string and then just work your way around so you do end up with an even amount on each side. And then finish it off by just tying a bow and gluing down the loops and you're set to go. For this third one, we're gonna take two pieces of tape and angle them from the top and just make a triangle shape out of it. Next, we're gonna take that same metallic paint and just paint over where we have blocked out that triangle. Then once you allow enough dry time, you're gonna take off the pieces of tape and as you can see, it may seep through the tape, which is totally fine because we will be covering it up in just a minute. So with the hot glue, you're gonna go around the edge of that triangle and just take a small piece of jute and wrap it around the outside of it. Then you're gonna to continue to do this for as many pieces as you would like. I chose to go all the way until the top of the lip, but it's completely up to you on how many pieces you decide to do. And then at the end, you're just gonna trim off the excess and you're done. For this last one, we're gonna start out by hot gluing the bottom of the planter and just wrapping the jute all the way around it. And just continuing going up, I decided to only do about an inch thick, but it's up to you on how tall or short you would like it.